short speech today, but someone remind me that this would be the only time and opportunity I'd have to uh, be in the same room with my wife and my mother-in-law without getting interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we would like to thank everyone for coming here today. Well, we know everyone's travelled a long distance. We appreciate it. Um, firstly, Paul and Deb, thank you both very much for your loving words that both of you have shared with all of us. And also for giving, also for going first in your speech. I'm glad it wasn't me. Um, Deb and Paul, I'd like to thank you both, not only for your hospitality this evening, but for also letting me marry your beautiful daughter. Now I'd like to share this little story with you of how I proposed. So what had happened was, I called Paul and Deb earlier in the week to organise a dinner with them um, while Em was in China. Um, so I went up one night, had dinner with them, sat at the table, thinking to myself, well, I'll ask a question, I'll ask a question, I'll ask a question. <laughs> had dinner, Deb cleared the plates, Still saying it to myself. Then dessert came, we had tea. I was like, alright, I'll do it now, I'll do it now, I'll do it now, I'll do it now. Still chickened out. And then it was time to go upstairs, we watched TV for a bit. Um, still thinking to myself, okay, I'll ask a question now, I'll ask a question now. Still didn't ask a question. And I'm starting to overthink it. And then Paul hops up, like, look, I'm going to bed. And then I was like, can I just ask you guys a quick question first? That's exactly how it And that's the exact reaction I got from Deb. <laughs> it was laughter. I was laughing from joy. I finally asked the question. Um, Mum and Dad, I also want to thank you both uh, for everything you've done for me. Um, You've put up with me for all these years, um, but I know I'm the good child. <laughs> um, Mary Ann would like to thank you as well for legally making Emma my wife and taking your time to help us prepare a ceremony that was magical in so many ways. Um, Jack and Jackson, Erin and I couldn't thank you enough for being our host for the night. You both have done a brilliant job. And a fabulous in the suits. Yeah. yeah. Dean and Pete, you both scrubbed up really well. Uh, not as good as me, but you try. <laughs> um, where am I, Dean? All right, the bridesmaids. Thank you, Nicole and Reese, for looking so beautiful tonight. Um, you have done so much and have worked so hard to help him. Um, and thank you, to, thank you for today for keeping it calm. Um, <laughs> and lastly but not least, Emma, my wife. I can't put into words how I feel about you, um, but it feels so good to be able to finally call you my wife after so many years. Um, from the first day I saw you, I knew that you were going to be my wife. I used to know. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, it's been yeah, it's been a great four years. Um, I've had a lot of memories, a lot of good times. Um, we've got our daughter now, Haley, um, and she, yeah, she's such a blessing. Um, yeah, just I don't know it's it's a different love when you've got a child. Um, it's amazing. I, yeah, I don't know how to put it to words. Um, I can't run into words how much I love you, Em. You're my best friend, my soulmate, and everything I need. Um, I didn't realise what I had, like I had what I had missing until I found you and saw you. Um, but yeah, I won't just. I can't put it to words how much I love you. Lovely. It's hard. Um, thank you.